My name is Alan Hart and today I'm doing day four in day in the life of a plumber. We're doing a Wiesman 100 boiler installation with a Wiesman Vitacell 200 hot water cylinder. Um, so we'll have a look at that shortly. We're going to unbox this cylinder in a few minutes. Uh, first of all, we'll just give you an update on what I've done so far. Um, so let's have a look now. So far, I've put the boiler on. I've done the flue. I did start to do the flue with a core drill. So the outside is nice and neat with a core drill. There. But it had metal in the wall, um, uh, brick tie. So I had to chop it out with a chisel. So I need to cement that up on the inside. It's got its clips on. So we need supports. Uh, maximum one meter really or change of uh, our joint or change of direction so we've got us clips on there we've got the boiler on the wall we've got a deaerator on there to help get the air out of the system we've got a Svernox filter that's actually a 28 mil filter that one then we've got us S plan on there and now I'm just going to unbox this, I'll unbox this cylinder and we'll start to fit that. I'll just open this cylinder up now and just show you what you get. So you get the instructions and I would tell you or I'd say to you, advise you, always read the instructions and then we'll get the cylinder, we'll get a little takeaway bag there. We'll have a look at that in a minute and then you get your expansion vessel and this all comes with the cylinder and then when we have a look inside here we we'll just have a look in this bag just show you what you get You get the sensor, hot water sensor in with it. I've just got all the fittings. Tun dish. So you get a nice little kit with it to enable you to install it. I'm just going to pipe the hot water cylinder up now this this is the flow to the coil and because this is a four pipe Wiesman four pipe boiler then this flow coming down from the boiler off, off the four pipe goes directly into the cylinder I'm using this MLCP again I've used copper coming down and then where we need to bend it and stuff i've used this stuff because it's really good you can you can bend it don't bend it easy it, it, it's it does feel like copper but because it's got an aluminium layer in there if you if you bend it over somewhere you can bend it and it'll keep its shape it's really really good so i've just put a, a bend on there I'm going to connect this into there now. So I'm going to cut this copper down, cut this down a little bit, and then I've got my, the coupling that transfers it from MLCP pipe or the, the PEX pipe. And, and then I'm going to press this elbow on. So that, that'll go in there. And that'll just press onto there. So I'll cut this, I'll cut this back now and then I'll just clean this edge. You get a tool and that just cleans. Oh, it, um, it like does a, um, cuts a little bit of it out so you can get fitting on. I'll show you, I'll show you now.
again just make sure it's fully in on there and this pipe is 25 mil so the jaws on this TH 25 Some new cutters, I think, a new blade cutter. Well, these quite a while. put a little mark on there just so I know that it's in when it's on do the same on there as well Because I've marked them, I can I know that they're, they're fully in on both of them. The cylinder sensor just goes into this pocket here, and then on the other side of the wire, you get a plug. And if you can see on there, it's got a number, a number five on it. When we open the boiler up, you can see over here. There's some wires and they've got a number five on. So you wouldn't you wouldn't really be able to wire that bit of it wrong. So that's for the hot water side of it. So I'm just gonna shove that in through there and then and then that'll be the hot water part of it sorted. It's starting to come on now. Still got quite a bit to do. So that's the end of day four. Um, yeah, we're coming on, it's coming on, it's coming on well. Um, tomorrow, finish off the cylinder tomorrow, and then I'll show you, we'll have a little look around it and I'll show you all the pipe work on it. And then I'm gonna do the wiring as well for the, for the nest thermostats on the S plan. So I'll do that and I'll show you how to do the wiring as well. Um, yeah, I hope you hope you found that of some use and thanks for watching.